Hello users, uh, so in this video we will work on the unread messages count like this like we went we will track all the unread messages and show here the count of every user just and the number of uh, unread messages we have to read okay so for that okay so first of all uh, we need to get all the read messages from database like when we are fetching the friends uh, we need to uh, also get all the unread messages of that users so to do that uh, we can write a row query uh, with uh, our friends array so we can use db here and uh, like what we can do is uh, we will uh, get all the unread messages between every oh, like uh, if uh, Rahul has sent me some message when I was online or when I was offline that means uh, the message will be unread by me so we need to also uh, get all the unread messages uh, uh, sent by Rahul to me to do that we can say here select star and with db row we, we can use db raw and here we can say select count id from chats there now to get all the unread messages uh, we can say other where chats dot other user id will be of mine means uh, the authenticated user id because whenever i receive we receive any message and the other user id will when i receive a message uh, the other user id other user id will be of our user id and chats dot user id will be users dot id which user is currently get this query is getting as hundred underscore messages and now let's check this if we are receiving this or not you can say okay we are receiving this unread message object with count of five right okay now we can say we can show these unread messages here when if when first when user first arrive here can say if dollar and completed messages is greater than zero and we need to show it Yes, okay, so now uh, let's check if it's working or not. Let's log in with the Rahul. So I think there is a problem. Query. Let's see. Select count ID from chats. There. Okay, we need to pass one more condition. And it's underscore. V equals to zero and 
it. Now we can create the count. And let's show the count here. Okay, so Ajay Sharma has 15. We have 15 messages and read from Ajay Sharma because currently we are not handling the read messages status and all the is read as zero in our database. Okay, so this is how we can get the number of counts, number of unread count when the user first load his set. Now uh, we need to also check like we need to manage if the user is uh, on the current window like user has opened the chat we need to change the status as is read so what we can do is whenever a user request for a chat messages we can say Whenever we read any user's chat, we can set all the unread messages to read. And we can say chat clone clone there. User ID will be this and the user id of our user id user id means he has sent us the message and we have received that message but we have not read that message yet and other user id will be of variety and this read will be is read will be zero Dot update which we need to run. Okay, now let's refresh. Okay, and now as you can see, all the messages are gone because we have read the messages. And if I can say We are on this page, and if Rahul has sent us any message, and we again go to home, you can see we have 300 messages. And as I open the uh, Rahul chat window, all the ended messages has gone now. Okay, so uh, now uh, we need to handle the is read functionality with our node server like uh, if user is uh, on the current window then he should not the is read should be one by default so what we can do we need to change in our node.js code and uh, actually uh, here we also need the id of the the message id of the message which is uh, generating in our database this id to update the status of that chat so uh, before sending the message to the other user what we can do is we can insert before sending the event to the uh, receiver we can first insert the chat in our database and then we can send it to the user and what we can do is we can append an id insert id id data dot id equals to which we will receive from this response dot insert id so it will give us the id of the message and we can then pass the pass that id to the receiver side receiver side or we can say we all can first insert the message message and then send the 
event to both the users receive message okay so let's check it if it's working or not here when we receive any message we'll just log it here so as you can see we are receiving now the id number 25 the 25 is received and to make it more fast we can do we can just we don't actually let's have it here as it is okay now what we need to do is uh, whenever we receive a message we have to check now we know that user has is on user has opened our chat or not so we can track what we will do is uh, if the chat is opened by the user if user is if message so if user is connected to the socket and if the user has opened our chat window who is sending the message it will hear a pair here it will the condition will be true so what we can do is we can emit we can emit an another event here of read the message so we can say socket dot emit read message and we can pass message id So what it will do whenever receive, user receive the message and if this window is opened here message will be get appended and then and another event will be fired to change the status of that message so we can say read message and we can receive that event here so we can say socket dot on receive message function we will receive the message id and we can what we can do is we can update the status of that say con dot query update chats set is underscore read equals to one where id equals to data dot id and then okay, here you can check if we got any error we can throw an error and otherwise we can simply console dot log message read Okay, so now let's uh, check it. So what we can do is we need to refresh first of all these pages. Okay, now if as you can see, Rahul uh, Ajay has opened the chat of chat window of Rahul Sharma and Ajay Rahul online, and if uh, I sent message to Ajay Sharma, hello. think we got some errors yeah and we are close where id is undefined data dot id so we are not receiving this socket dot emit okay we are already passing the id here so we don't need to just need to use the id here message read message read ok so now if i send message and you can see message is read event is fire and here message is read and if uh, 
we check the into database you can see the read is one and uh, if uh, i went on this page and if i send message it should not be read in read it should be unread so you, as you can see here this is unread till now and as i go on this page the message will be set to read and now if i send a message that appears and there is no unread message now because user is in, user has opened the chat window okay well, so uh, by this functionality we can also make the uh, read uh, read status like we have in whatsapp with a single tick double tick and the col the color change we can track if uh, user is offline then we can uh, we, we can say message is unread and uh, has not delivered and if user is online means message is delivered and if user has not opened the chat to chat means message is unread by that user and we can also achieve the that functionality by this way okay uh, so so for uh, now in the next video what we will do is we will also track all the unread messages while we are on the another users uh, chat window like we have in whatsapp when we are chatting with someone uh, some user and any uh, other user has sent us the message the uh, unread message will be appear here so that's what we will do in the next video